good day sir this is group five in which we'll present our topic the globalization of religion um first and foremost we would like to state that this is for educational use only our group is allowing our instructor mr rodan ardines to use this as an educational material my name is Decadet Arca Miglito, and here is our objectives. The first one is to um, explain how the globalization affects religious practices and beliefs. The second one is that to analyze the relationship between uh, religion and global conflict. And lastly, to know the role of media the globalization of culture and religion here are our presenters decadet arca miguelito decadet de la torre mark steve decadet maniaca matthew alvarez decadet de la serna nick brile decadet de lanon rino nico decadet tracaza reynald Decadet Nagungdong Rudel Decadet Distora Anjo And lastly, Decadet La Paza James Anthony I am assigned to uh, report the first topic How globalization affect the religious practices and beliefs The religion that were formerly isolated from one another can now have uh, regular and unavoidable contact as a result of globalization. As a result of, globali of this, the globalization highlights the reality that because faiths share similar principles, none of them is right and hence changeable. Um, it means that uh, the advancement of technology has greatly aided religion. For example, the websites provide information and um, it explains about various religion to everyone. And regardless of this uh, geographical location, uh, as well as the ability to communicate with others worldwide and hold debates that allow religious ideas to spread. Um, furthermore, uh, the television allows for religious channels that provide um, visual religious teachings and practices. Lastly, um, as a result of uh, this globalization, um, the religions that are that were formerly isolated from um, one another can now have uh, regular and inescapable contact to each other. And as a result, the, globa the globalization emphasizes the fact that um, because faiths share similar concepts, none of them is correct and thus subject to change that's all good morning sir good morning classmates so i am the cadet anjo md stora so here's some more information about the topic how uh, how the globalization affects um religious and from the lips so uh i searched some more information uh, they say that um, Another which way in which globalization has in fact on religious is way religious have made us a global communication. Religious groups are able to make to take advantage of modern technologies to recruit new members, spread the word, keep to contact other members in religion. While some of the more fundamentalist anti-modern, anti-global religious organizations can hold a certain irony. 
It is the one of the way which religion is much less linked to national than it once was. Once was. So religious identity, religious identity is, is much less than attached of the national identity is the one was most of the main world. Religious are the international, the character, and while some countries still have clear state religious, it is essentially less features of the national identity in the West it used to be. However, people do still something refer to the countries like the UK as a Christian countries. A significant exception in India, Mira Nanda, N Nanda 2008, argues the Hinduism is closely related to the Indian nationalism. In the survey of 93% of Indians consider that culture superior to the other in the increasingly Indian national identity of Hinduism are seen as effectively the same thing. In other words, Hinduism has become a villa called, villa called a civil region through the worship of Hindu gods. Indian are worshipping India itself. There were world religious long before the process of the globalization is taught to have begun. Christianity, Islam, to Judaism in a particular have been fearsome across the many actions of continents how some sociologists suggest the globalization has led to the rapid spread of sub-religious organization. David Martin, 2022. Points of growth in the Petronacle Pintero Pentecolasili Pentecostalism in Christian denomination. Through the developing in the world, Martin constrains the per Pentecolization with <coughs> Wait, um, so here's some um, information again. So it is uh, the apex of globalization. Globalization gives regular contact, religion gets in the sphere of argument in which religion proves to become more anxious, anxious toward them. As being world religion, globalization is also provides a culture of pluralism, meaning. Religion of the overlapping but distinctly ethics and it interest interact with uh, with one another. And here's some globalization effects. Uh, here's some positive globalization effects of religions and belief. So, globalization helps increase greater religious tolerance and acceptance for the other culture and religion that enhance our mind knowledge etc with globalization religion becomes a culture of the pluralism that teach us to respect of the other religions and here some negative effects of globalization in the religious and beliefs globalization is also negative impact on the religion by breaking traditionally beliefs as people are more connected with the world that something weakened their own religious belief. A survey shows that British people religious beliefs are changing. So that's all sir. Thank you for more information of the globalization, how globalization affects of the religious and beliefs. That's all for sir. Thank you. Good evening, I'm Mark Stephen De La Torre and this is my report about globalization. The connection between globalization and religions offers new opportunities while also posing new obstacles. On the one hand, religion uses communication and transportation technology to its, to its advance, but it is also the source of globalization's greatest resistance by serving as a safe refugee for people who dislike its authority, authority religion 
on the other hand enters a circle of conflict on the other land enters a circle result of globalization as religions grow more self-conscious con of themselves as world religions in short globalization has made it possible for firmly isolated religions to have a regular and inescapable contact. As a result of this, globalization highlights the reality that because faiths share similar principles, none of them is right and hence changeable. The relationship between globalization and religion with the new possibilities furthering challenges on the one hand while religion takes advantage of communication and transportation. That's all. The role of media in globalization of culture and religion. The media has a significant impact on cultural globalization in two ways that are mutually interdependent. First, they are facilitate the widespread transnational transmission of cultural products. And second, they aid in establishment of communication, network, social structures. Globalization, which has influenced many aspects of human life, this is an unavoidable phenomenon that is transforming humanity future. However, this does not preclude action people who follow the globalization or westernization or even Amer Americanism. Agenda are aware that an active role can be performed in the process, economic, industrial, and political components of globalization. I've gotten a lot of attention in the subject of cultural studies. Other researchers are looking into the influence of religion. In this, the delicate relationship between globalization and religion is explored in, in, in this AC. Then, as an important aspect of globalization, many methods of partnership between religion and media are examined. Finally, in the context of this issue, Islam distinctive Perspective is described. Creation of Global Values The late Marshall McLuhan, a media and communication jurist, came to the term Global Village in 1964 to describe the phenomena of the world, culture shrinking, expanding at the same time due to pervasive Technologies, advantages that allowed for instantaneous sharing for all cultures. Jensen, 192. The assertions that is possible for all cultures of the world to become one global village is contributed to one. On one hand, people believe that it continuous cultures, globalizations will lead to a blazing marketplace where countries of all economic opportunities are presented and where more fortunate countries come to the aid of the less fortunate ones of humanitarian efforts. The term Global Village was invented by the late Marshall McLuhan, a media and communication theorist in 1964 to express the phenomena of the world's cultures decreasing, expanding at the same time due to pervasive technology breakthroughs that allowed for instantaneous sharing of cultures, Jensen's 1902. However, the assumptions that all of the world's civilizations can unite to form the one global community or debatable on the one hand, some believe that cultural globalizations continues, it will result in a sparkling marketplace where countries 
of all economic potential are presented and where more prosperous countries come to the aid of less prosperous countries through humanitarian initiatives. An example of the global village is all combined societies throughout the world. The world as a single community, interdependent inhabitants who are interconnected by contemporary technology, especially television and the World Wide Web. Global Village and Media People use technology to fit into a digital community to which they are not physically connected but mentally connected. Each social media platform acts as a digital home in the individuals allowing people to express themselves through the global village. A review of general semantics argues that media ecology and new media have expanded who has ability to create a new media text. Since mass media began, it has called for the western nations of the world. Without the mass media in effect, other countries may not have the knowledge of what associations of the other nations of the world constitute. Nations of the world, developing countries acquired the news and entertainment from developing nations like U.S. The information received can be based in a favor of developed nations which connect, connects the world's similarities within the media. Good day, I'm Kadet Dalanon and I'm from Group 5. So what is the creation of Global Village? So on the other hand, people are afraid that evolutions of Global Village will raise complex between cultures cause of fragmentation of culture or lead to cultural domination by more developed countries and possibly create hybrid cultures. Johnson 191-96 Assuming that Marshall McLuhan's analogy of the world as a global village is an accurate prediction of the effect of cultural globalization. So what consequences and benefits will emerge from these compressions of culture? So this essay is will consider the implications of complex conflicting arguments addressing these questions. Understanding what these changes will mean for each exi existing culture individually and being careful to consider all sides of the discussions with equal relevance is essential to forming a universal understanding of what globalization means. If we cannot agree on the implications of this culture, cultural shifts, perhaps we cannot identify ourselves as members of a global village after all. Good day, I'm Dec Cadet James Anthony Villapasa. Does religion unite the global village? Religion was founded when internet was not there. The modern communications approach one major casualty. I bet it's religion. Religion was founded to unite people under a uniform social order. Under under a uniform social practice with the geographical dimension of the religious order it was small like few number of villages and few number of cities. Now Religion is something too small, too small a thing for people to unite. People unite due to similar culture, similar tradition, similar language, similar beliefs. If religion can unite people, we will not have so many countries in Europe nor so many war monitoring countries in Arabia. Europe would have been single Christian country and Arabia an Islamic country. In 
fact, religion divides people. Christianity has 1,000 of sex. Islam has 1,000 of sex. Sectors, sectors. Hinduism has 1,000 of sectors. E even numerically, smaller religions also cannot stay united. To add, relig religion has long been a driving force in the process of globalization. This idea is not controversial or novel thinking, nor, nor is it meant to be. However, the dominant reasoning on the subject of globalization expressed by authors like Thomas Friedman places economics at the center of analysis, skewing focus from the ideational factors at work in this process by expanding the definition of globalization to, ex to accommodate ideational factors and cultural exchange. Religion's agency in the process can be enabled interestingly. The story of religion in globalization is in some ways the history of globalization but is riddled with paradoxes including the agent opponent paradox the subject of, the, of this article. Religion and globalization have a co-constitutive -constitu relationship, but religious actors are both agents of globalizations and principles in its backlash, while some actors might benefit from a mutually reinforcing relationship with globalization. Others are marginalized in some way or another. So it is necessary to expose the links and wages that allow for such a paradox. To that, to that end, the concepts of globalization and religious actors must be defined and the history of the agent, opponent paradox from the Buddhist of the Silk Road to the Jubilee. So, good day everyone. I am Kadit Dagongdong. Today, I will be discuss about religion unite the global village. <clears throat> Politics and religions in the global village. As the world moves rapidly toward the formation of a global village, attention is being shifted, increasingly from concern over what is best for individual nation, nationalistic interests. So what is best for the whole world? Global interest. This revolutionary search toward a new world order is the result of dramatic developments. Over the last hundred years, in fact, Kofi Annan, Secretary General of the United Nations, has written if one world in camp was selected all the changes the world was living through. It was globalization. Secular developments. The 20th century witnessed many major changes in the secular realm. Military conflicts shifted from being primarily localized in scope. One nation against another to being international. Clusters of nations uniting against an enemy. Two worlds was Excuse me. Two world wars involving the armed forces of many nations brought unparalleled destructions and loss of life to large areas of the world. Multinational forces intervened militarily in the Far East, Korean and Vietnam Wars, the Middle East, Gulf War, and Europe, Bosnia and Kosovo. Warfare technology developed nuclear weapons and delivery, delivery systems with the potential of destroying all life on earth. The world court was established to judge actions and disputes of nations and leaders. The United Nations was formed to provide a forum where nations could solve differences without war. The 
development of long-range airplanes enable us to travel almost anywhere in the world in one day. The telephone, satellites, computers, and email made instant. Worldwide communication possible between people, governments, and business. Televisions and radio brought the sight and sound of world events directly into our homes. Individual nations and the United Nations attempted to influence human rights policies of nations. World Conference says we help to address such issues as AIDS, population control, the plight of women, the environment, and human rights. The migration of significant numbers of people to various parts of the world prompted the exposure and even amalgamations of diverse racial nations and ethnic groups. And the nations of Europe are forging a form of unification. The European Union with a com common economic system and currency and the possibility of eventual political and military union. Economies of nations have become increase, increasingly interdependent, moving the world toward an international economic system. The Euro European Union is one step in that direction. Nations in various parts of the world are forming re regional free trade blocks such as NAFTA. NEFTA. What happens with the stock market in one part of the world dramatically affects the performance of stock markets in other parts. Significant companies have internationals with branches in several nations. Companies of different nations are mer merging with each other. Some companies are taking over or purchasing companies from other nations. Banking firms are continually merging into larger conglomerates. The World Bank and the International Monetary Fund are significantly advancing the international economics. All these developments, some of which benefit and others of which threaten mankind, have made the world smaller. <coughs> Even in one region can have repercussions for the entire world. As a result, uh, individuals can no longer afford to focus their attention is exclusively on local and national matters. This increasing globalization imposes a growing concern for what happens worldwide. And that's all. Thank you.